Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my, you know, today is going to be a very interesting day. Uh, I'm in Colorado and we have wind advisories today. It's all kinds of things, you know, it's like 35 to 45 mile an hour sustained winds and then gusts anywhere from 70 to 100 miles per hour. So I don't think I'm going to go anywhere. I wanted to, but yeah, that's not a good driving weather or anything along that line. Uh, yeah, I, to, you know, earlier, since this is Friday night and I'm recording for a Saturday morning, um, I was outside. Can you tell? Can you tell? Look, I'm a little, little, as my husband calls it, I'm a little two-faced. So I knew that the weather was coming in and everything, and I decided I was going to just go out on the porch, the deck. It's it's wonderful. The weather's great. It's beautiful. It's sunshiny. Wind was blowing. Not going to lie. Wind was blowing. But I took a nap out there. Can you tell what side of my face I was laying on? Yeah, I'm a little, a little red over here. It doesn't hurt or anything. And I did flip, but uh, didn't get anything on this side. So, yeah, it's not a trick of the camera. I am just... Uh, I'm a very fair person, so the sun gets me. Uh, I thought I would get the natural vitamin D. I don't know how you guys are or anything or what you feel about that, but oh my goodness. You know, the whole Easter, we had people in town and it was wonderful, but there were definitely family members who were not feeling well. My uh, my husband's been very sick. He's, uh, uh, for a few days, we've been battling the temperature from 102 to 104. Not good for an adult male, just saying that. Uh, we've done really good with getting that managed and taken care of. And uh, now, thank God, the, uh, the fever's broke and uh, he just has body aches, which isn't thrilling for him. But you know, it's like, at least the fever is not not there. Uh, I can sleep in more than two, three hour stints at the moment. You know how that goes. So I was taking advantage during the day and uh, he was taking a bath, taking a hot bath because he's sore and achy. And I went outside and was hanging out on the deck, um, enjoying the beautiful sunshine, you know, just kind of like, okay, people are starting to get better. This is a good thing. There you go. But some of the other things that I had the opportunity to do because I had a lot of time as far as that goes, you know, I took off work taking care of my sweetie because he is my sweetie. That's just, you know, that's that's the way I look at it. He's my sweetie. So uh, I got a chance to work on one of my sweaters that I've had on the needles. Do we recognize this bag? Do you know which sweater I'm referring to that I have hidden in this bag? My friend, my friend Rose gave me this. I thought it was just so cute. It's the Bumblebee, Bumblebee Gnomes. And that should give a good clue as to which sweater. I've been working on the Scandinaz, I think that's how you say it, sweater for a while now. I don't know when I started it because I start a lot of things, you know, and some things just fly off the needles and others I, um, oh look, there's needles. I had a snag or, you know, have to do a decision or something like that. And then it gets pushed beside to the side or like those chickens, those emotional support chickens. You know, I'm working on my third one of those as opposed to, oh, I don't know, working on things I'm supposed to work on or I've promised or I've dedicated myself to. So what I commented on, look at this. Do you remember this one? Oh my gosh, that collar work is amazing. Yes, it will have sleeves. But where I left off on it last time, I had to go and grab my other skein of coal. That's the color, coal, uh, charcoal, charcoal uh, yarn. And this is Arcane Fiberworks Fingering Weight Yarn. If you're not familiar with Arcane Fiberworks, go check them out. I'm not affiliated with anybody. Uh, I'm just saying, go watch their videos. They are so amazing and relaxing. And if you're in the market for getting yarn, uh, he has four different weights. Okay, Tyler dies up four different weights of yarn. I love the fingering weight. But um, yeah, watch the videos of him dyeing yarn. They are amazing. They are beautiful. And if, like I said, if you're in the market to buy yarn, $25 a hank, um, buy two or more, free shipping. There you go. But um, again, not affiliated with anyone. I just like to show pretty and share pretty. So I had to wind this so my sweater was on hold for a long time because I had to grab it and wind it. No, I it's not hard. It's not. I, I, I can wind. I have a cake. I have a ball winder. I have a Swift. I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lazy. Oh, yeah. Lazy. So 
it was it was on hold for a while but i i commented that this was like my perfect uh, car project mindless knitting I, you know i've been looking for mindless knitting mindless crocheting just mindless projects and it was perfect because i was already down on it's attached still I was already down on the waist portion, right? And I just, which is just around and around and around, right? Yeah. And I commented that once I wound the yarn, it would be really fast to get that portion done. And it was. So can you see the ribbing that I've done there? Let me see if I can I turn it upside down, I guess. I don't know. I should have a still photo. Okay. See what I did? Do you see how it kind of like has peaks and valleys all around? Yeah. So I didn't just do plain straight ribbing, but all of that is what I got done. It's not that much, which was a lot because each round, I counted, it's like 250 some odd stitches. That's a lot, but it was so fast. I mean, I know it's weird, huh? It was just so fast in comparison because it was just that, what I was looking for, my mindless knitting. So I'm really excited about that. But now we know what's going on, don't we? Yes. I have bound off. I should probably snip that edge. Ooh, look, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna snip it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. There we go. And there, it's not attached. All right, so I have this left. This is my second skein of the Arcane Fiber Works uh, fingering weight yarn in the charcoal colorway. And let's see what I have left here. This is my second skein of the Busy Bee. Look at those up front. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. That's what I have left. So I had four skeins total. I had two of these and two of these. Nice. And you can see how much of the sweater I have done. So I should be able to do the sleeves to any length configuration or what have you that I really want to do that in. Uh, you know what? Here. I put it on. I have skills. There. There we go. Let's see if I can stand up over here. I got things all over my spot. Okay. So it's... You know, and you can see how that ribbing is as I pull that up and everything, how it just kind of goes like that. I wanted to do a little bit of a shape for it. I like, let me see if I can pull this down. I like the length of it. Um, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, I've got this, right? So I didn't want it to just end right there. So I tried to make it long enough for me. But really thrilled with that. So that was one thing. And then my husband's like, what about my sweater? I mean, he isn't feeling really well, so I should work on his. I have been working on his blanket, though. So on his sweater, I went ahead and I got his stuff ready. It was a tangled mess. How? It, well, I know, because I would just get it from over there, grab it, and then pull it up. So I took these and I measured them on him. And the sleeves do still fit, so I wasn't, you know, I was a little concerned with that. So I've got all of my sleeves ready and the body ready. And I have the next skein wound up. So really happy with that. I mean, you can see I got my try-on cord over here. got my needles ready. I got one needle over here. So I'm going to put a little bit more length on each sleeve. There you go. So here are my Arcane Fiberworks sweaters. They are receiving some attention and getting some love. Oh, are you interested in the colorway of this one? Of course you are. You might already know, this is the St. Nick colorway, and this is worsted weight yarn that I'm using for his sweater. Fingering weight for mine, worsted weight for his. His is the charcoal also, so you can see. Okay, this is the worsted weight charcoal, and this is the fingering weight charcoal. Gorgeous, aren't they? And, you know, it's nice to see the difference because... Uh, the different weights of yarn, sometimes after watching Tyler dye up yarn and things, some of them just take differently to the dye. It, it's it's the darndest thing. They really do take a little bit differently. But you can see that charcoal is gorgeous. And that's both of them fingering and worsted weight right there. Um, having a blast. And I have to finish these because there's so many other things that I've got my mind working on at the moment. And if you've been around for a while, you know I have another set of fingering weight yarn just sitting in the wings, so to speak, with the Arcane Fiberworks that I got from Tyler. Um, you know, bought and paid for myself, of course. Like I said, I'm not affiliated. And uh, I'm kind of wanting to make another sweater with that. But I want to finish this one because, well, I don't want it sleeveless right? And if you've been around for a while, you know, sleeves are kind of like my bane. It's, I don't know why. 
I'll, I'll make the sweater and, you know, get to that and the sleeves and blank. Yeah, I don't want to. Which is why I was hoping with this one it would go so much faster because I made the sleeves first. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I try to trick myself and there's something about it. I What is it? Is it just, you know, um, afraid to finish it? I, I do finish a lot, but it's weird. It really is. And uh, I had my granddaughter over earlier and she was commenting on her sweater, which is eh, right here. So we're working on hers too. And my husband was like, yeah, you should probably try that on her. So this one is hers and that is an all over color work. And you can see how close that is. So this one, I also did sleeves first, see? And that's not a, it's not a mistake. It's um, the pattern once you get done and everything, and I can do it now, you Kitchener stitch that together and everything. So, cause I've got live stitches up on this side and live stitches here. So that would be a Kitchener stitch together. And then any holes or anything that remain, those get stitched down easy, not an issue at all. So I really could do that now. I don't have to wait until, you know, finishing the whole sweater, but you can see how close this is to being done. So what is it? Am I just, you know, what, what kind of craziness is it with me? I mean, that's truthfully, what, what do you think? A couple days, a few days, you know, something like three, maybe four days or something. I don't know, a week. Let's be generous. If I didn't work on anything else and decided, what am I going to do? Because I believe I'm going to put a hood on with this one too. This is going to be a hoodie sweater for her. She loves the hoods. She's eight years old and doing something like that. So I won't do the color work on the hood. I think we decided that we would do the hood in pink. This, uh, this raspberry color. That's uh, what is it? Yeah, I think it's just called raspberry, isn't it? This is my, so these are my sweaters that I'm actively working on right now. This is the Big Twist Party and raspberry jam okay so that's raspberry jam and the green is bubble tea so these are both big twist party but those are my three sweaters i'm actively working on i'm feeling um pretty good with my projects at the moment i'm right there ready to just start doing some other things that as i like to call it uh, require decisions um i'll get into these little moods right don't, don't we all kind of get into moods you know i haven't lost my you know whether you call it your knitting crojo or your your crojo crochet mojo or your you know knitting mojo whatever you call it we get into little moods or something every once in a while and we just don't do as much as we think we should or what have you i'm still putting on at least one stitch so i'm happy i'm still getting progress maybe not on every single project because let's face it i have a lot going on project wise because I can, right? It's exciting. Let's go play. Um, but I'll get into that mood, uh, not necessarily to not work on things, but to not do something complicated, to not do something that takes brain power, you know, something that's repetitive, semi easy. And you know, crazy as it sounds, I, I don't know. But I don't think this even the color work on this because I, it's been a while since I've done it. I don't think it was difficult. I don't remember it being difficult. You know, some things are more, you know, cumbersome. I think it was predictive patterning, if that makes any sense. But I'll get into those little moods and I'm like, I don't, I don't want any decision. I don't want anything with shaping. I'll do the sweater until it comes to, oh, you have to do shaping now. Nope, it's gonna go in the corner until, and I'll go start another one, which is the craziest thing ever. Or uh, something along that line, you know, it's like, oh, let's do just plain simple. I'm loving a lot of the projects that I do have. My uh, my husband's blanket's gotten a lot of love because of it, because that's a simple repetitive. I've had an opportunity to to work on my car project and I got a little bit more done on that. It's, it, it's in the car, but I've gotten some more done on that, um, you know, because it's a repetitive. Uh, finally winding the yarn, I got to finish the waistline of this because again, it was around and around and around, very repetitive. Um, I believe, we'll see, I should be able to put the, the stitches um, on the, the needles and everything. And I'll do both at the same time. What I'll kind of do on that to make sure that I actually do my sleeves is, uh, you know, maybe 10 rounds on one side, then 10 on the other, and then kind of a back and forth or whatever combination back and forth. And then um, once I start, and I'll do that, I'll work even for a while. I don't know how long, but I'll work, you know, and even for a while and then maybe do some decreases. And then at that point, maybe not as many 
rounds in between because I want to make sure both my sleeves match. And if I make a mistake, then it's a mistake on both sides. So then it's a design feature and I'm good with that. Yeah, because one of the things when you do sleeves separately, and if that works for you, by all means, you don't change. You do it whatever works for you. But I know with me to doing just one, if I got one and I worked it and I did all the way to the cuff or however long I wanted to, and then I had to go back and do the other one and remember any shaping that I did, even if I have it written down, um, you know, it's a little more cumbersome. It's just, it's, it's, um, I think it's more taxing on my brain than I want to want to, than I want to deal with. Um, know yourself with your crafting, you know, work towards your strengths, right? Um, so I am really pleased that I'm feeling like I'm starting to maybe come out of this little, whatever I've been in and can pick up a little bit more, can have fun with doing some of my cables again, right? Uh, which would be good because that's what I have to do on here is some more cables. And then once I attach this, oh my gosh, how exciting is this? This is a raglan. So once I attach this, what, what it is is, you know, this one I did um, top down and this, this, uh, this one right here was bottom up. So all the pieces are ready right here to just add all the stitches from the sleeves to the body and the other sleeves and it'll be just massive. So I'll have you know, a cord like this one, right? You know, that, that'll accommodate all of those stitches. And uh, it's really cool because since it's a raglan uh, style, every other round I'll be decreasing eight stitches. So it's one of those that once you start working, you've got a massive amount, but each, you know, every other round, eight stitches less, eight stitches less, and eight stitches on worsted weight, that's a noticeable difference. So it's kind of exciting on that. At that point, you're like in a race, you know? Um, I do a lot of things like that, mental gymnastics. It's it's the thing, you know? So then it's kind of like that race kind of a thing, and each round is just a little bit faster. And you don't notice it for the first few rounds. You really don't, because it's really packed up on this needle, and it's kind of unwieldy. But you do a few rounds and it's not packed as much. You do a few more rounds and it's like, oh, I can do this. And it's exciting. It's kind of like if you're in a race and you're close to that finish line, you know, you'll, you'll go faster. Or if you're close to playing yarn chicken on something, you knit or crochet faster because it makes a difference. It does. Yeah. So that's what I am working on. It's a lot of fun. So hopefully you are not stalling like I have been stalling and you are able to just be as productive as you absolutely want to be. Enjoy your yarn. Enjoy whatever it is that you are working on, you know, and if you are in that space, one stitch counts. It's okay. You'll get out of it and one stitch, it's still progress for whatever reason and that might be all the motivation you need because I know that really helps me out a lot too as even when I haven't wanted to do anything crazy, I'm still moving forward. And so are you. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.